Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, it's here. So first, congrats to the LA Dodgers for winning the World Series last night. Uh, there is some controversy, though, especially if you are a Rays fan or just a baseball fan in general, and it was with the pulling of Blake Snell after he was completely dominating the game. So let's get into exactly what happened. We're in the sixth inning. Snell has thrown five and a third innings, allowed two hits, no runs, has nine Ks. He gives up a single um, to Barnes, and they pull him at 73 pitches. Now, the decision ends up backfiring. Uh, Betts comes up for his third time. He hits a double down the line, moving runners to second and third. And then a wild pitch scores Barnes. Betts moves over to third base. Uh, Seeger drives him in with a fielder's choice to first baseman Choi, who throws home but can't get Betts. And the Dodgers go up two to one. Now, this brings up a bunch of questions that we're going to get into, but let's start off with Kevin Cash and what he said after the game. He said, I felt Blake had done his job and then some. Mookie coming around the third time through, I value that. I totally respect and understand the questions that come with the decision. Blake gave us every opportunity to win. He was outstanding. These are not easy decisions. I felt it was best after the guy got on base, Barnes hit the single. I didn't want Mookie or Seager seeing Blake a third time through. Now, the Rays, just like a lot of organizations now, are, you know, they're an organization that plays the numbers. And one of the numbers is that hitters' success against the pitcher increases the third time seeing the pitcher, so that third time through the lineup. Now, if you look at Snell's numbers in the regular season, opposing hitters hit 140 against him their first time seeing him. And then their second time seeing him, they hit 307. The third time was 304. So the numbers make sense in the regular season. But here's the thing, and this is what we're going to get into. Do those numbers mean anything based on how he was throwing in that game? Because he was absolutely nasty. And at what point do you go with your gut and what you're seeing versus the numbers? So let's look at how things were going that game. First off, Cody Ballinger after the game said Snell had his stuff today. He was gross. If you look at how the Dodgers were doing, Betts, Seager, Turner, the top three hitters for the Dodgers, they were over six with six strikeouts against him at that point in the game. In the series, Betts and Seager were one for nine with six strikeouts against Snell. And then here's an interesting fact. If you look at the Dodgers during the regular season, they hit 215 when facing a starting pitcher a third time through the order. Now, if you're watching the game, you can see that there are no comfortable at-bats for the Dodgers. They basically have zero chance against him. Now, here's Blake Snell's comments after the game. He said, I felt so confident in how I adjusted after they saw me the second time, and I knew what I was going to do a third time. I just believed in myself and what I did to hopefully see them a third time through and a fourth time if needed. I wanted to go that far into the game. It was everything I wanted to do. Just empty the tank and see how far I can go. With the way I felt in the game and what he, referring to Kevin Cash, was able to see during the game, I don't want to be taken out of that game. For the most part, me and Cash, I'm going to side with him because I know how good of a manager he is. And it's just tough because I felt so good. Now, if you want a little bit more ammo, Anderson, who was brought in, to relieve him, one of the best relievers this season in the regular season, but in the postseason, he's allowed at least one run in seven straight appearances, which is the longest streak in playoff history. Now, I also want to say this. As much as people are, are kind of trashing cash here for the decision, the Rays offense scored one run and struck out 16 times. So the offense didn't do anything to help. And I'll also say that this is an organizational philosophy as well. So um, and Cash may very well and probably does believe in it, but don't just put it on Cash for making the decision. Uh, this is something obviously that the, the organization has talked about and kind of scripted out. And so it's not all on him. It's an organizational philosophy. And I think bottom line, let me know what you think about this. I just don't think this type of thing, I don't think it's good for baseball. Um, I don't think it was the right decision, but I just don't think it's good for baseball. You have a guy dominating, absolutely dominating, and you take him out at 73 pitches. And people complain all the time. Right? I talk baseball with a lot of people. They complain all the time. All oh, pitchers are soft nowadays. They don't want to go deep in games. They aren't tough like the old time pitchers. You have a pitcher out here that is... that. He wants to go the whole game. He wants to finish the game, but the organization doesn't let him finish, and that is frustrating. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. If I'm if I'm Snow, I'm surprised he didn't pull the Mike Musina. Uh, remember when Moose 
told Tori in, in that game it was uh, it was the ninth inning, and I know it wasn't a World Series game, and and it was I think six to one. Um, but remember when he <laughs> when Tori's coming out, and he looks in, and he says, "Stay right there." And Tori goes, oh, "Okay, okay, I'll I'll stay here." It's, uh, uh, sorry, Mike. Um, that's what <laughs> that's what I'm surprised that he didn't do with that point in time, but I guess I got to give it to him for uh, for obeying the manager and the organization's wishes. But uh, that's my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I thought they should have kept him in. I know it's easy to say after the fact, but he's just breezing. Nobody can touch him. Um, it was, oh man, it's just tough to see a guy get pulled in that situation. So let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Congrats again to the Dodgers for winning the World Series, and we'll talk to you later.